Hi, my name is Tatiana Bell, and I'm doing my library assignment on The Dark Tower, Gunslinger Born. The creative team for this was, uh, the story was plotted by Robin Firth. It was scripted by Peter David and illustrated by Jay Lee and Richard Eisenhoff. Stephen King, who was the original author of the Dark Tower series, also serves as the creative and executive director of this project. The first, uh, this is actually a limited series. This is the first compilation of the first seven issues into one book. And this was originally published in 2007 by Marvel Comics. The length of this whole book, including all seven issues, spans about 179 pages. So for Act 1, the, it lasts about 40 pages. Act 2 starts at 41 and ends on page 137, and Act 3 follows that until 138, up to page 179. There are actually a lot more pages, but those are only the uh, those are only the art pages that include designs and how they were how they recreated the landscapes based on actual photographs of skies and mountain land and mountainscapes, and also how the penciling was done by the characters. So this story is mainly told from the point of view of Roland, De well, Roland Deschain. He's son of Stephen Deschain, who was originally the youngest gunslinger, but Roland then takes over that title as he becomes a gunslinger at the age of 14. And these, this is his group, uh, Cuthbert Allgood, Elaine Johns, and Thomas Whitman. Now, since this story is mainly Roland's, we aren't really given any backstory into these three characters, except for what is said for them in these three in these three text bubbles right here. So the story starts out right when Roland has officially become a gunslinger after he has been able to overthrow his teacher Kurt, and he is actually the only character to have a solid story arc. He starts off story as a bitter 14-year-old. He becomes a gunslinger and goes into exile to avoid seeing his mother after she is unfaithful to his father, who is away on a mission. Following this, he is encountered by his father and he is told that he must go to the east. And he enters a city named Barony. And he and his uh, group, they're called the Catet. They're supposed to be present. They're supposed to be present, pretending to be apprentice drovers looking to buy horses for the affiliation, but they are actually looking to see if the there is anybody in the town called Barony who is working for John Farson. And that is this character right here. Well, in the t when he and, when he and his group enter Barony. <clears throat> Roland, going under the fake name of Will Dearborn, he encounters a woman named Susan Delgado. The group was originally supposed to meet up with her father, but it turns out that she that he has actually he died. He died in, in an accident um, that occurred with his horse, and she is now in order to make up for her family's debt and also to prove some sort of worth. Her aunt bargained with the town mayor so that she is now supposed to perform mistress duties to the town mayor in order for him to bear a son as his wife is no longer able to. Now throughout the story, throughout the story Roland actually becomes enamored by Susan and they fall in love but then it is revealed that at the end of the story the townspeople have found out what has been going on and they burn her at the stake and throughout this, throughout this course of events, Roland becomes a sort of ghost of himself, and he is no longer the person that any of his friends can remember him to be. Okay, so so establishing effective settings. Throughout the story, there's actually an unknown narrator who speaks to us. He is the one who is describing our characters to us and describing the settings. In a way, he sort of breaks the fourth wall because he or she is actually talking directly to us. 
and McLeod's ideas of transition throughout Gunslinger were born, the pages are mainly made up of solid, of uh, solid single long panels, or there are splash pages of a giant single image that includes, like a, that includes here a few pieces of text in order to establish what a character might be thinking, or to speak to the audience to inform us of something, and a couple pieces of text from the character themselves. But this is a majority of what the pages will look like in this book. They'll contain, they'll contain maybe three long panels at best, and then around half of the page will consist of one large image. While this does not use up too much of the space, sometimes it can be distracting, although thankfully it doesn't, it isn't distracting so much to the point where we feel like we're getting more of a picture book than text. And also, the characters are speak don't uh, this, the characters do speak sparsely, but it is still enough that we were able to, that it moves the story along quickly, and it doesn't feel too text heavy at the same time. I guess you could say that these char that these pages mostly fit the uh, definition of aspect to aspect and scene to scene when they're not shown as subject to subject, such as in moments like these where it's one character speaking to another. And this would probably be seen, this would probably work as aspect to aspect, since we're just passing time showing Vaughn gathering his gunslinger weapons for the first time. Working as a mini comic, I don't think that any page in this book would work as a mini comic, considering there is actually a lot going on in every single page, and there is. but there is also still not enough detail for us to completely figure out what is going on, especially. If you haven't read this comic, or if you are not familiar with any of the Dark Tower series, you would not be very familiar with with any of the ideas behind these characters, what their mo what their motives are, or even what their daily life would be like. Amazing, there is absolutely amazing use for a direction for a directive flow for each of these pages. Each page pretty much leaves us on a decent cliffhanger, and especially with some of these pages where Roland is encountered by, or Roland's father encounters him and tells him that he needs to leave his town in order to actually take on the duties of a gunslinger. Because in this page, I didn't put it, but he is actually, his father finds him in bed with a prostitute, and his father considers that shameful because it's the only thing that he's done since he's become a gunslinger. He is young at 14, but so far he's basically only given himself, he's only earned himself the knowledge of sex. It is only here, this is actually about 40 pages into the book, this is here where the, the first act ends and Roland and his group are given the, they're given the goal to go to Barony. And this is what, what really sets everything in motion because this is their first mission as, this is his first mission as a gunslinger along with his friends. And this is to prove their worth and to the affiliation. Um, well, when it comes to recommending, I don't really think I'd recommend this to anybody who is not very familiar with the guns with the Dark Tower series by Stephen King. If you are, then this would be a perfect read because this story tell this is the backstory of the character role and how he started out as a gunslinger. So it definitely would probably answer some big questions, which Stephen King, anybody who knows, they love he loves to leave questions for us. Not everything is tied up and and we are we're always left with a few loose ends somewhere. And actually this is a fun fact. For anybody who's actually familiar with the Dark Tower series or has read the books, this story, the story, the all the events that Roland goes through, and this the the events of when he first becomes a gunslinger at 14, and then finishing off at uh, the revelation that Susan has actually been burned for the, at the stake for her actions with him. Turns out that this whole story was revealed in the Dark Tower 4 Wizard Glass when the characters, led by Roland, they encounter a dimensional hole known as the Thinny. 
Finney, it, it leads to Roland telling the story of how he became a gunslinger and ends with his tragic loss. Now this, the loss of Susan is actually the reason why Roland is the way he is in the original Dark Tower series. And that is, this actually explains how he is because not only was he a very, not only is he, is he very distraught by the actions that he went through, but he, uh, that is actually not the worst thing that he had to go through as the infidelity of his mother towards his father with his father's best friend, no less, an assistant. That actually started out was the first thing that made him bitter towards any human being, any kind of trust that he could have put in them. But Susan was the only person that he felt any, any sort of connection to because she, in a way, she could, she could match his personality. And... He found himself very attracted to her. Now, it, now it, it may have been because of her looks, but it was also because of the fact that she was very... You could probably say that she was very forthright with the way she acted. She was, she, in a way, her character was already broken because she had gone through the loss of her father, and now she was being forced to become the mistress to the town mayor in order to attain some, some kind of... Um, well, you could probably say help, any kind of help for that her family could earn. In a way, it's kind of like she's prostituting herself because she's gonna because she's supposed to be helping the mayor get a son so that he has a legacy. So that is the end of my presentation. I hope that any of you liked it, and I hope that I probably should have given you a warning that there will be spoilers, but I hope that you would read this. This is actually, since this is the first compilation, if I remember correctly, there should be about six other issues, each of them with about five, with about six or seven other chapters. This was, this was, this first volume was seven issues separately originally, and they instead we compiled it into seven specific chapters for this book. So yeah, if anybody want if anybody wanted to read this, I would definitely suggest it. Like I said, even if you're not familiar with the Dark Tower series, this is a good precursor to them if you would like to learn about the character Roland. Just so if you start to read the book, the original books by Stephen King, you don't completely think this guy is a serious jerk. Why is anybody following him? Then you can see why he is actually a very tragic character and anybody who has even read anything similar to that, like Shakespeare or even the modern day teen books. They know that tragic characters, not all of them, depending on the amount of things that they have gone through, sometimes there are some things you just cannot go back from.